Hello my darlings, today we're playing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I know why you're here, you know why you're here. Let's play. Oh, look at the little guy in the mustache, that's cute. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you tell us why. Mama, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Oh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right, folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge, we're gonna need their help. Lays? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on this train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about this in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon and part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Well, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find an egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday presents already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me into the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg was here in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here. And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. A score of a lifetime. Why would you write the code to the safe on the blueprints? That's not that's not a good idea. The blueprints? Please, Ruth, let us see that. Um, um, uh, uh, find us keep us, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we ain't getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get the card to use on the elevator, and our chances grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't seem to have a problem with this. I see no issue here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing her decision here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Witchy, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. It's time for a five-finger discount. Sure, let's go with this one. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Witchy are in... Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. Ha, ah, that's the ticket. I better have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Where did this board come from? Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Good question. Access to the Fabergé chow egg room is behind the locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. We need to attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard. Um, let's try bribing. Let's be nice. Anyone have anything we can br use for a bribe? I have a pair of tweezers. Oh, here's a training card. I'm not giving you anything. Maybe bribing isn't the way to go. Yeah, apparently not. Let's attack him. I can't say I'm comfortable attacking a chow. Let's keep violence to a minimum, shall we? So that's not a no. That's just a let's not hit him too hard. Less fun, but I agree. Let's think about it again. Distract the guard. Distract them? Perfect. And well, charming enough for that to work. Well, that was nice. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Witchy, are you okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Yeah, we've known each other for two hours, and we've been investigating a murder. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in the casino, my poker face needs work. Yeah, probably. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Um, Tails. Tails is adorable. Sh sure I, I can be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that, Vito. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, 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 no. Really, I can d do it. Sorry, buddy, but I think we'll be better off somewhere else. In that case, who should we choose? Um, Rouge? Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Are we talking about a puppy? Plus your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Alright, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Well, that just leaves Blaze, so... Blaze, you're up. You think you could strike the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stock. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Ask them about their kids? Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will certainly distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Rather than fly. Let's just ask for it. 
No harm in asking, right? Oh, you naive, innocent soul. Such a fresh face, this one's so cute. Do you suggest we take the god out shoe shopping next? I don't think Chow wears shoes. These ladies are ruthless, I better rethink this. You think? How do we get the access card? Um, climb to the rafters. I don't know. I don't want any violence. There won't be any violence. I'll just tie him up to the rafter. Easy. Where do we get the rope? Interesting point. Maybe we should try something else. Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access card, no problem. The chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to steal anything else if you can help it. No promises. With the access card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Witchy, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster, push the security card over, pretend Blaze is your spouse. Oh, let's just push him over. I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. It's just a little push. The child's low to the ground. It won't hurt him. But if they start crying, it would bring unwanted attention to us. Well, let's pretend we didn't push him over and helping him up. He just fell down. Who's gonna know? As long as he doesn't see us shove him, he'll be fine. Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? Good question. Decent point. Let's think of something else. Uh, alright. Blaze is my spouse. Then you'd be marrying into a royal family. What's your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? I don't know. Wait. Well, um, I... You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. It's my uniform. I can't help it sucks. But I got a little bow tie. In. That part looks cute, doesn't it? You know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said let's try something else. Drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing worse. Really? It's a drink without a coaster. It's annoying. That's about it. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted... We all head to the elevator. And just like that, we make it to the elevator. Inside, we... Pop some cider? Sure. Now that's a proper victory! Oh no, one last security measure we didn't count for. How did you forget about the arms? <laughs> Look at his eyes! <laughs> what do we do about the mechanical arms attacking us from the ceiling? High-five them. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high-fives aren't given away willy-nilly. They are to be treasured. I don't think my hands would serve a high five from them. Let's rethink this. Okay. They all humored my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. Time in a knot? My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. I guess someone doesn't want to hear my song. Aww. Alright, Tails, disable them. I should be able to disengage them, but I'll need some time. Well, that just leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while, and the arms are tightened in their grip. Sure, pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say, this plan is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up the elevator. I knew the plan would go without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now it's time to claim a real prize. I have the safe code right here on the on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. Ha ha ha. What's in here? What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is a casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe some rings too. Rings, you can find those laying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. I wonder where it could be. Could it be this one? No question, this has gotta be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 23-04-01. Oh, wow. It's there. I have it. Oh, well, that is pretty. Alright, before anyone sees it, let's get out of- Hold on, kiddo. We can't be too hasty. Do you truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should- 
All you need to do is twist it. Tick, tick, dick, tick. That doesn't sound good. Oh, uh... Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secrets? Because the egg is a bomb! I think you're on to something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of the egg now. Dispose of it? After all the hard work? Rouge? Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do we put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh, <laughs> that's not good. What do we do? Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, witchy? Probably a poor time for jokes. Oh, I thought it was funny. Um, tell the egg to stop. Stop. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Well, it was worth a shot. Rock the egg to sleep. So you think the egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Let Rouge kiss the egg. It's as they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. Hmm, what a prude. Toss the egg in the elevator? All right, down it goes. We're clearly not gonna blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Blaze, set it on fire. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosive shouldn't mix. You don't think the fire would neutralize the blast? You just like saying things, don't you, witchy? Maybe. Throw the egg back in the safe? Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Okay, fine. It's going back in. Tails, the door won't lock. The door's staying open. What? Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Alright, red wire, blue wire. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one. Like in the movies? This isn't a movie, Witchy, it's real life. Sure it is. Ah, uh, he's got a good point. Chaos control the... egg? Where did you hear about chaos control? It doesn't matter. We need a chaos emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it. Dump on the egg. Just how I like my eggs. Smashed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Flip the egg upside down? Witchy, what's flipping it gonna do? I don't know, try it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Yes. Throw the egg against the wall. Alright, here goes nothing. Rouge. Well, uh, we should probably think of a different plan. Tails, try cooling it down. Cool the bomb down with your tails, like a fan. Right to try. I still hear ticking, however refreshing the breeze may be. Twist the egg again? Great idea. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Let it finish, or take one for the team. We gotta try. Here, give it to me. Huh? Get... Get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am. A hero. No, witchy. We won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want, who are we to... Stop. The microwave kid obviously is not going to sacrifice themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. Hey. True. Let's think of something else. Quickly. Well, there's only one option left. Are you insane? Do you want to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, witchy. That's our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't the bomb? Wait, that's right. Richie, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espioi did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? The robotic arms can also detect weapons and explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Those robotic arms that attacked us on the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as the Fabergé Chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and goings of the train is a conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing to enter, either. So, if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay. We wait. Okay. The egg, it opened. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. You both really were on to something. Phew! My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunter is right. Thankfully. E and look what's inside. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a priceless treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Um, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Could call
Oh, let's go. No one seems to suspect anything, and security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the dr drink poster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer never to do it again. Now, Rouge? Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that dazzled chow. What? What? What was that, darling? About those blueprints? Now that you're done with them, maybe we could... Take a look. Well, I'll appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little while longer in case I miss any other treasures. But I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you got this, sweetheart. Tails looks annoyed. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make it better. But I don't think there's any reasoning. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. It's a key. Wait, where's Amy? We didn't see her at all. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've heard a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. We didn't get their alibis. Well, do. Come on, Richie. Let's head out. Gotcha. The murder mystery continues. Okay, here we go. We, we can explore now. Trash can. Tails, we must search the trash bin. <sighs> it's empty. Oh. Oh. Did I hear an oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even in peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday. Wow. With a flower. Oh. From his garden. Aw. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Oh, that's sweet. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. What if she'd said no? That's um, very sweet, but all that's in the trash bin is a lollipop stick. Aw. A lollipop stick? Yeah, like one of those leftover sticks from a lollipop. That's all there is. Witchy? Witchy? Is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? <laughs> just, just leave me be. Aw, that was cute. Is the, is the arm gambling? The capabilities of these robotic arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time I see them. Should the arm be gambling? I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. I would. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. Dr. Eggman built a lot of casinos to run around in. But I've never actually sat down to play for fun. Well, you want to play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. Yeah, I don't know how to play either. We cheat. We simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. You think? What's your alibi, Blaze? Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Your alibi? Do you think you can go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When we go over it the first time. When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car, and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the... Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car where we went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the fab the egg was here. After that I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slot? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash-out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That That's enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Alright, let's talk to Rouge. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, when Zamy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her on my Fabergé egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library car in the saloon car, until I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic, no. I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Not gonna give us the blueprints, are you? Hmm, should I give the machine a try? Sure, why not? Alright, let's see. Big money, big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? No, we've got better things to do. 
I respect your restraint. Um, thanks. Wonder what happens if we do this again. Those tails get bored after a while? Witchy, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? Big money. <laughs> I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Well, I lost. But maybe next time I'll get it, right? Give it a shot. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails, I got it this time. Well, I lost. Should I try again? Sure. I think Tails is really getting worried, though. Alright. Phew, I was starting to worry about you. Aw, that's cute. Haha, <laughs> yeah, let's go. One more game. Have you heard of the suck cost fallacy? The suck cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person reluctant to abandon a strategy of course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it's clear that abandonment would be more beneficial? Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. Alright, big money, big money, big money. Oh, I lost. Uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. Okay, I lost. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!